We are, we are so blessed to have a special hope that we receive from Jesus. Amen. And I believe that we have a great theme for our April month. Praise the Lord. Amen. And building hope is a work of the Holy Spirit. You know, in, in, the, uh, in the construction business, sometimes there is a, a saying um, that you watch the building come out of the ground. Yes. Any construction project, you, you start by going beneath the surface. You have to dig into the ground. You have to go deep. Because the foundation is the strength of the building. Yes, and when we started this worship today, this was what the Holy Spirit was saying to me. That Building hope, it begins below the surface. Yes, uh, the Holy Spirit wants to look deep inside of us. He begins to build from inside. And we began to know new things and believe new things. Hallelujah. What we believe about God is the most important thing about us. And the, the Bible says, according to what a man thinks in his heart, that's what he will be. Hallelujah. So how about this morning? We we open up and allow the Holy Spirit to begin to speak. Amen. Amen. Would you take this moment with me to lift your hands? And say, I am open, Holy Spirit, for you to speak to me. Hallelujah. Begin to build hope deep within. Hallelujah. I want a strong foundation of hope in my life. I want you to build hope in me and out of me. A living hope that reaches to heaven. A hope that stands on eternal things of God. And we thank you for doing this from beginning today. Hallelujah. In Amen. Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So let's read um, from our Bibles today, beginning in Romans chapter 4 and verse 18. Yes, this, uh, this verse is speaking about Abraham. And we will talk more about it just in, uh, later in the message. But Abraham received a promise from God. 
Abraham nga phaya khin si ga kati daw ko khan yu ya shi ga de. And Abraham was an old man. Abraham nga atat chi do phu chi tiao ba. Even older than me. Aku chan wa shi de atat tu ai dong a phu chi ke bi bi. You know I had a birthday you celebrated with me last week. Long ai atat ning ni no chan wa mwen ni chin ba ke de le. Ado chan wa atat tat daw ma Abraham ai chai no wa atat chi bi twa bi. I thought a few years ago I would stop having birthdays. But every year, someone reminds me it's your birthday. You are older. Abraham was an old man. He had no children. But God said, you will be the father of many nations. And Abraham believed this. And he believed in hope. Yes. Hope is so important for us to live by faith. Okay, let's read another verse, 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, 13, 13. 13. Okay. Okay, a great promise for us in this verse. That because of hope that we receive as believers, we do not respond to death like people who do not have this hope. And this hope is stronger in us the more that we know about it. Paul said here, I do not want you to be uninformed. So today we are getting new information. Building hope. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. First Corinthians thirteen thirteen. Yes. So, uh, First Corinthians thirteen, we we always call the chapter of love. But it is also a chapter of faith and hope. And this is the last verse in the chapter. And the verse says faith, hope, and love remain forever. Now, it says that the love is the greatest of these three. The love of God for us. It, it, is, it is before our faith and our hope. And because love is alive from God for us, forever. We also have faith in God and we have hope in God. Yes. And this verse says that these three remain or that they last longer than this earth itself. One English translation says, These three things last forever. Faith, hope, and love. 
I'd like for you to say with me. Faith, hope, and love. Faith, hope, and love. Faith, hope, and love last forever. Faith, hope, and love last forever. Hallelujah. Amen. And of course, these are not from human wisdom or human power. These are by the grace of God. Given to us with Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. And so they are greater than us. It's a big hope. Six and a half years ago, we lost our house in a flood. All of our possessions washed away. My wife and I were alive and we give thanks to God. But all of our things in our house were lost. And we, we did not have the money to we, rebuild the house. <clears throat> we lived with our children in different places. Now, when this flood came, many of our Christian friends were encouraging us. Yes, uh, friends like Selma Ching. She sent a message to us from, from Monyua. She saw the news about this big storm and flood. And she said to us, God is giving you many new things. Praise the Lord. Amen. When God spoke to her, she had not spoken to us. She did not know what we had lost. But God knew all about. And the Holy Spirit began to speak to people. As, as time was passing, we wanted to build a house. We thought of selling some of our land. We thought of borrowing money. But when we prayed, God would say no. He would tell us, believe I am giving you a new house. Hallelujah. And he would say, you will have no debt. So more than two years, we were waiting. Many people shared encouragement and gave seed faith to us. And we were also sowing seed by faith. I can tell you, in, instead of saving money, we were giving more money. Because something was building inside of us that God was doing a big thing for us. And 
after two and a half years, we started building on our house. And we have a house now. We have 100% new things. We have more things than before the flood. Just as God promised us, everything is new. And we have zero debt. Amen. Do you have zero debt? I don't know. Hallelujah. It was more than our hope. We were like Abraham in the verse of scripture. It said that Abraham believed with hope. Against hope. Yeah, we need to understand what this means. It means that Abraham was believing the promise of God as time was passing. But as he continued to believe God, hope was building in him. We, we need three things from Jesus all the time. We need his love. And his love is the greatest. But we also need faith. And the Bible says we have been given a measure or an amount of faith. And as we hear the word of God, and we continue to use what we know from the word of God, faith keeps coming. Amen. Amen. Don't miss church. Join the Bible studies. Ask God to help you have time to do it. And let faith grow in, in you by receiving the word of God. And number three, we need hope. We need to know what it is. We need to know that our hope is different from other kind of hope in this world. Praise God. And, and this is the month for you. To begin to build up a new hope in your life. Because Abraham, he was having faith and believing in God. But he was also doing in hope. And this means that he was expecting every day that what God promised would come to pass. And so around him, there were the normal circumstances. And even his own body, he was not getting younger. He was getting, uh, he was getting older. Waiting to see the birth of his first son. But he stood against that hope, the hope of the world. The hope of the natural body. The 
the hope of normal thinking and normal living. Instead, he was, he was living in the hope of God. Instead, he was focusing on the wisdom of God. He was living in the ability of Almighty God, the Creator. Hallelujah. Amen. And as he let this hope build in him, in the face of normal circumstances, you see that because the natural world or normal circumstances will speak to you about no hope. Or a small hope. But the word of God speaks to us about a living hope. Yes. Hope that has a name. Hope Maybe we might say that hope has a first name. That is, that is given by the Father of Hope. And that name is Jesus. Jesus is my hope. God is love. Your Bible says that. Hallelujah. Amen. And Jesus is my hope. And so I don't look at the circumstances around me to tell me what is going to happen. I don't look at the circumstances around me to tell me what is possible or not. I go to the word of God. I find out what Jesus says. I go to prayer. Every day. And I say, Holy Spirit, speak to me. All I see around me is limited possibility. But you speak to me about unlimited Possibility. When I look around me, I see I can do a few things. But many things I cannot do. Many things I cannot buy. Many, many places I cannot go. But your word tells me something different. Your word tells me that with God, nothing shall be impossible. To the one who believes. Believing is faith. The assurance that God is with me, that is love. And expecting every day that God will do what he has promised, that is hope. And Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hope is what lives in us when Jesus becomes Lord. And if you need it, the Holy Spirit is there every day to provide. And this is what we learn from the New Testament. That expecting something, this is the action form of hope. Jesus used this word when he was teaching. But every time he used it, 
He was using the action form or the verb of the of the word. And so in our translation of the New Testament, we say expecting. Yes. Over the next few weeks, you're going to get more teaching about this. How that Jesus talked to us about expecting things. And he was building hope. Yes. Sometimes we say when a baby is coming that, you know, parents, they are expecting a baby. Yeah. Yes, in my home, this is a common way that people say they are expecting. Just one word and we know what it means. Yeah. And it also explains many things. It explains why the mama is beginning to look different on the outside. <laughs> For a time, it is a secret. <laughs> but then the secret is out. It is also why maybe they are working on their house and they are doing many things. Because if you are really expecting something, then you are doing different things with your time. You are talking about what you are expecting. Building hope. Now the, the world, they teach us a different way to talk. If you are talking about what you are expecting, something new from God. A new job is coming for me. Mm. A new ministry is happening for me. A new growth is coming. I am growing in my faith. A, a new place is coming. God has given me a new place to live. God is the God of new things. He is the God of changing from the old to the new. The Bible says if you are in Christ, then you should believe this. Old things have passed away. And behold, all things are new. Hallelujah. Amen. But if you are talking too much about what you are expecting, someone will say to you, don't get your hope up. Don't get your hope up. It may not come to pass. Yeah. And sometimes we say, oh, you may be right. 
I am expecting too much. Today, in Jesus' name, I curse that thought. And in Jesus' name, I curse that message. When you hear this message, don't get your hope up. God is not speaking to you. Now, uh, the person who says it, I'm not calling them evil. I'm just saying that the focus is on this world level and the limits that we live in. But we have a living hope that stands on this foundation. Our hope is that Jesus is alive in us. And that faith, hope, and love last forever in Jesus' name. And expecting is the action form of having hope inside. Praise the Lord. <laughs> It's the way we talk. It's the way we worship. It's the way that we walk before others. Okay, now my time for preaching is gone. And I, I just want to shout to you the first PowerPoint that I brought today. There is power of having our hope in Jesus. Last Sunday we celebrated resurrection. That Jesus is alive forever. And if the spirit of Jesus is alive in us, this resurrection power is renewing us. And the hope that we have comes from inside. The source is the spirit of the living God. The spirit that raised Jesus from the dead. And our Christian hope stands fast on believing that Jesus is alive. And by declaring that he is Lord of all. Hallelujah. Amen. So what I want to pray for you today, I believe it's something very important. That what we begin to say about our future, it agrees with our living hope. Amen. Amen. And you will not say, I will, I'm not going to get my hope up. You are going to say, I am expecting new things. From Jesus. I am expecting every promise 
to come to pass in my life. My hope is building. And my speech will prove I am expecting. What I do with my time will prove I am expecting. And very soon, people who are around us, who watch our lives, Hear what we say. They will say, something good is happening for this believer. I see new things in this life. I see that they are blessed. Hallelujah. Amen. Let the Holy Spirit start deep in your life. Where you think. When you are alone. How you spend your time. When you are alone. I declare you are expecting. You are expecting through the power that works in you. New things are coming to pass. Hallelujah. Would you lift your hands with me? Let's open up our mouth and say thank you, Jesus, for new things. Don't be afraid to declare. I'm expecting new things from Jesus. I am expecting new things from Jesus. One, two, three. I am expecting new things from Jesus. Hope is building in my life. Hope is building in my life. I am expecting. I am expecting. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let's stand on our feet. Praise the Lord.